Hi, welcome to One More Today. I'm Sophie, your pilot into the universe of Chinese. We are going to continue our exploration. Uh, yesterday we talked about Wan Jie Bu Ba, which is Chinese way to say somebody when they come to a late stage in life, they all of a sudden shock us by not upholding their moral ground. Okay, go figure. I guess that's kind of universal. Um, then Jie Neng Huan Bao. We have two characters inherited from yesterday. Jie Neng Huan Bao. Again, Jie. In the previous phrase, it talks about moral, right? It talks about self-discipline, self-preservation or control. So here we're talking when it pairs with energy, it means conserve energy. Like when you use it, you use it with, with um, caution. Like you don't overuse it, you, you conserve energy. So jie again came from bamboo symbol. And then the person sitting, sitting with the knees bent, with the heels um, perpendicular to the floor, sitting on the heels. That's ancient table manner <laughs> to um, sit on the heels uh, to eat. Okay, the left side is the food. Okay, the food in a pot with a, with a handle on the top and the pot is somewhat precariously <laughs> perched on a certain stand. So people looking at the food ready to eat. And that captured the frame, the moment, ready to eat moment, right? That, that person didn't go all over the food, um, keeps the manner, keeps sitting up street on the heels and probably waiting for other members of, of the family to join before start eating. So all that kind of expectation, self-control uh, with good manners uh, that packed into this frame. And that paired with the bamboo symbol, which looks like the leaves of bamboo, right? Two of them, just to show multiple, multiple leaves of the bamboo. Um, in particular means the joint of the bamboo, the connection point of the bamboo. And humans use the behavior of a natural phenomenon a lot of times to imply, to use on themselves, to explain how they behave, right? Um, so the bamboo joint eventually was used to describe people's self-control um, or keep their moral, have the sense of good and bad, right or wrong, right? So that's jie, like you're behaving according to the right way, do the right thing. So that's basically jie. And here when it pairs with nong, I translate as conserve because jie also means like you, you, you control yourself, but here it means control energy means you um, use energy in a controlled way. You don't abuse it. You just use it in a, in a good, like manage energy well um, so that you don't waste them. So that's jie. Nong, okay, we have the net symbol, which is kind of a frame, a spade, and then with just two of these crosses to show you the structure of the net. So that's a net and the bottom, Somebody say it's it looks almost like a bear because in fact we have Chinese uh, character bear looks just like that but with some four paws um, like put underneath to to mean it's a beast but bear means okay we have to imagine a bear out of this four scattered <laughs> symbols over there so this is kind of from the muscle arm of the bear and then these are the four. Legs. Well, I think I bust my story right there. So four legs over here, four leg animal. And this is the, the muscle power uh, because this is the meat symbol that you use oftentimes to pair with muscles. And then this is the head of the, of the animal. It's a little bit sketchy if we view it that way because how come all of these elements are scattered, not connected to the one unit to depict? Because we have like, sheep we have come across sheep ox bird um definitely humans like they're all connected to make it into one unit and nothing is dissembled like this so i'm dubious about the interpretation of that's the beast and you're trying to contain uh to nest to capture the beast um i'm dubious about that um my interpretation is each one of the symbols could mean something 
and they all assemble together to make a meaning result in um, means ability. Either it has the energy or it has the special talent to, or skill to do something. Um, so it's open to interpretation right now. I have to figure out uh, the whole thing, like what each of the symbol means so that it can come with, with a cohesive story. But today we know the whole thing here means, um, uh, means uh, ability. So either you have, you have the energy to do something or you have the skill to do something. So here we lean on the energy part because when we pair with jianong, that means conserve energy, we know exactly what that means. This energy particular, particularly means um, electronic energy. So safe, save your electric bills, basically. Okay, huan ba. Huan came from this um, jade trading era in the past when the jades are made into little disks so imagine your quarter coin, but in the middle, there's a hole. And then with that hole, people can put a string through it so that all the loose coins are pieced together in one unit. That's how uh, ancient currency was carried. And jade before in, a, in a ancient times was uh, either as a trade or probably as a, a type of currency. And so when we see the three horizontal disc connected by a string, that's our symbol for J. The right side, according to scholars, it means the look of the shock. Okay, the look of the shock. I can see the shock part here is the eyeball looking right <laughs> back at a language user. Eyeball, the two, uh, the iris was using like two diagonal lines to, to be like kind of looking like this, right? To describe the eyeball look. It's like a fully open eyes in a shock motion. And then the bottom here um, is the closing. So this is the front neck leg, neckline uh, back then when closing was mostly draping over the body, right? And then you have the fabric fold in front and that's the closure in the front. So that's the front neckline and this is the back neck neckline. And this is, I guess, it's a mouth symbol to mean there is a person actually wearing that clothing. And um, I don't exactly know what this part means, like why there's up to the corner on the on top of this um, vertical line. I don't know that part, that's a mystery, uh, but the whole thing means somebody in shock in that expression. Mm. Yeah, in my previous episode, I came across a similar icon that looks like this, that composed the meaning of distance, long distance. And I and my interpretation is, like, okay, look, this is like a cone-shaped hat, and this is a clothing, and this is somebody wearing the hat, a full outfit. And this looks like the mountain symbol, and that means that person is fully outfitted, geared up to, to walking long distance toward the mountain. That's my storytelling back then to explain why it's a distance. Uh, but over here, when it pairs with the eyeball, why all of a sudden it becomes the, the look of the eyes wide open, kind of in shock. That's <laughs> in shock to me now. Like I, I couldn't figure out why. Um, but people use that um, eyes wide open in shock motion paired with uh, with a J trait to specifically means the jade in a disc form that looks almost like the iris of your eyes when you're in shock, like your, your full iris, the full disc shape of the iris was exposed. And then you can see, I mean, in the middle of the iris was that hole that looks almost like the disc of a jade back then. So people use that eventually to mean if this disc structure, the jade disc. Um, and from the jade disc, a further extended into a disc shape, not necessarily jade. And from the disc shape, a further extended into the environment, the surroundings, because the disc is like 360 degree surrounding the hole in the center. And that's uh, the sense of 
surrounding because you're surrounded by in every direction um, by something. So that's the surrounding because it's a full circle. So that's the surrounding. And I translate as the environment simply. I mean, too long, I cannot spell it out. So I hope you understand this means environment because it means surrounding. It means this disc shape, this circular shape. Okay, Bao, we have human figure on the left. Looks like just like, simply means two legs standing being. That's human. The right side have big headed uh, baby and two arms reaching up, pick me up motion and one torso. Legs not split out yet. So that means a baby in a bundle. The legs are not in use yet. So that's a baby image. And the two left and right, I view it as a hand kind of holding the baby to protect it from falling or something. And so this is, I guess, this is a caregiver, caregiver, human figure, and then the baby and holding the baby. So that's the original um, image for protection. Babies need to be protected, right? Okay, so we use that now with environment. So environment in, in contemporary context specifically means um, nature out there, how humans behavior impact nature. So that's the environment. Environment means non-human part, right? So that's kind of a surroundings of our life. The, the I guess domestic environment accounts too, not just a wilderness, but in a city, we can see city environment. So environment is, is everywhere that surrounds us. So it can trace back to the circular, like a 300 degree surrounding of somebody. So from that somebody's perspective, if it is everywhere, then that's the circular 360 degrees. And then that can be inferred and used as that's the environment we're talking about. It's everything else but you. So you are in the middle of everything else. And that everything else is the definition of environment. So we're protecting environment as if protecting a baby, and we're conserving uh, the energy. Electricity a lot of times means that you are you're saving energy. So jie neng huan bao often paired together, but they are not a set phrase. You can use them separately. Huan bao is its own thing. Simply means environmental protection, and jie neng means you save energy. You try to conserve it. And eventually that means more, more likely aligned with energy efficient. So Jieno means a safe energy. That means they use energy efficiently, right? So that's an extension of how energy efficient. Now it's a better pair of Jieno. I'm showing this beautiful landscape of, um, I guess it's a, it's a farming on the hill, how it looks like in China. Um, somewhere, so there, there. I guess there are some grass, grass places, but these little pools filled with water are supposed to grow um, the what's it called? Thousands. So for rice, growing rice in a pot of water, and because it's on a hill, so this kind of swimming pool, infinity swimming pool thing everywhere, formed to to raise the. Uh, you can see a little bit of that of this water growing plant, which is the rice. And um, I guess it's related to the environment. That's why I put it over here. And actually this is not energy efficient at all. Imagine the labor goes into this, just because we want this piece of land to grow crops. We have to do so much work to fill it with water, to care to it. And to, I don't even know how farmers can walk to it. it, it seems like not that easy. You probably can track through here and it enter into each of the patch. I don't know, it seems like a lot of work. So in that sense, it's human energy. It's expensive, I guess. So as long as you're not using electricity, but in essence, this is labor intensive. It's, it's, it's not exactly energy efficient, um, but okay. There we go. Jie neng huan bao. Catching into the I'm thinking by one more day with Sophie. See you another day.